And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Sinotyrannus, which was a request from Spinoboy1 via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. You say that a lot more naturally than I've been saying, Sinotyrannus. Mm. Sinotyrannus. Could be a... I read a lot of papers on it, so... <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Sinotyrannus was a basal tyrannosauroid that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Liaoning province in China in the Jiufotong Formation. It's part of Proceratosauridae, which is a family that started in the Jurassic and lived in what is now Europe and Asia. It looked somewhat similar to Euteranus. It was a large theropod. It walked on two legs. It had an elongated head, a long tail, and sharp teeth and claws. And it may have had a tall nasal crest, like other Proceratosaurids. Oh, yeah. It looks kind of like a little horn almost on the top of the nose. Yeah. And in paleo art, it's often depicted as feathery. Because of the Euteranus association, probably. Could be there. There's sister taxa. Sinotyrannus is estimated to be about 29 and a half feet to 33 feet or 9 to 10 meters long and weigh about one and a half tons. It's similar in size to later large tyrannosaurs from the late Cretaceous. And it's the largest known theropod from the Geophotang formation. It's also the first large theropod known from the Jehol biota. Its skull was about 3.3 feet or 1 meter long. It also had large nostrils, which is one of its unique features, and a, quote, massive and very tall, quote, neural spine that is, quote, primarily vertical. This is according to the paper that described it. So it had some pretty high spines on its back vertebrae, sounds like. So maybe it had a little bit more height to its back that way. Maybe makes it a little more imposing looking. Mm. The type species is Sinotyrannus. Casuensis. The genus name means Chinese tyrant. The name Sino is an ancient name of China. The species name refers to Kazo, the county where the fossils were found. It was described in 2009 by Ji Qiang and others. They found an incomplete disarticulated skeleton, including parts of the skull and jaws, some teeth, part of the pelvis, some ribs, vertebrae, and other fragments. Originally, Sinotyrannus was thought to possibly be the earliest member of the family Tyrannosauridae, and that would help show that Tyrannosaurids may have originated in what is now East Asia in the early Cretaceous and then later spread to North America. But later, it was found to be a Proceratosaurid Tyrannosauroid. However, Sinotyrannus still helps show that Tyrannosauroids were large in the early Cretaceous and not just in the late Cretaceous. So it's just outside the group of true Tyrannosaurids in Tyrannosauroid. Yeah. In 2016, Steve Brusati and Thomas Carr, in a paper about the phylogeny and evolutionary history of Tyrannosauroids, found Sinotyrannus to be a sister taxa to Euteranus and not close relatives of Tyrannosaurus or Albertosaurus. Sinotyrannus had a more shallow, less robust skull than Tyrannosaurus and smaller jaw muscles and thinner teeth. According to Brusati and Carr, quote, with its gaudy midline skull crest, huge external naris, and proportionally long arms, Euteranus, and probably Sinotyrannus, resemble overgrown versions of Guanlong, not <laughs> proto-Tyrannosaurids, end quote. That's actually kind of cooler. <laughs> <laughs> he used the word gaudy. I love Euteranus. Gaudy is a good description with all those showy feathers on it. <laughs> it's a good point. Now, though Sinotyrannus and Euteranus were on the large side, especially for the early Cretaceous, Brusati and Carr said that, quote, colossal size, over 10 meters in body length, over one and a half tons in mass, came much later, first appearing in the Campanian about 80 million years ago, although this observation is probably clouded by sampling biases, end quote. We're just speaking of preservation biases. Yep. <laughs> exactly. It's always easier to find new stuff. Mm-hmm. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 